now we are going to see about slack analysis okay. what do you mean by slack first of all slack is nothing but the difference between the actual time minus required time the difference between these two okay actual, actual time, time between uh, between the actual time and the required time okay so now we are going to see about this lag first of all uh, uh, we'll analyze this la slack uh, by using this diagram okay so if you look at uh, this uh, slide here we have so many uh, boxes each box uh, named like uh, one two three like that okay so that and all uh, indicates uh, the delay produced by that component it may be any one of the gate and or uh, not like that any one of the gate okay so each gate is having uh, each component is having some number that indicates the delay produced by that component okay now we will calculate the arrival time in this logic okay so uh, our assumption is we are applying the signal uh, at these uh, ports at the same time time t is equal to 0 okay so after one uh, one time unit the signal will be available in the outputs of output of this block similarly if you come to this block th then what will happen here we are getting 7 after 7 we will get the required output how we are getting 7 you know for this component one input is coming from this path the second input is yeah second input is coming from this path right if you look at this path in this path we are having three. yeah three uh, the component which is yeah which produces the delay of 3 okay so if you ca compare these two which path is having the more delay 1 and 3, three. so 3 is the most uh, no, yeah, more de 3 is having the more delay okay so we'll get the uh, exact result at 7 we're uh, getting for example suppose uh, we are having um, one nand gate here okay so here these two are uh, simple buffers okay for uh, for the sake of example we'll consider in that way so here we are applying the logic one so after uh, one time unit uh, it will come here okay so it will go here so based on the second input only we can say that this is a correct output right but that second input will arrive at this component after three nanoseconds sorry three time units three times. okay so uh, so ultimately we can say that uh, we will get the proper output only at the ta seventh time units right that's what they mentioned here similarly we can calculate for all the paths okay we'll go go through each and every path now come to here this is the next component here uh, seven is one path only one path this component will produce a delay of six we don't have any other path here so the total delay produced by this component is 13 okay so next uh, here here uh, we are having two paths two input paths right so one path is having the delay of 13 and another path is coming from here so okay so in this path uh, what is the maximum delay 9 we, are, we have to go back uh, we have to trace back okay so 9 13 which is the longest path 13 right so 13 plus 5 totally 18 so uh, at the time uh, of 18 time units will get the proper uh, output okay so same uh, like that you can ca calculate uh, the arrival time for all the paths okay